Welcome to another YouTube video. This is like the 20 millionth time I have filmed an intro because I still hate intros. Anyways, if you guys are new here, I'm happy you're here. Welcome to my channel. My name's Becca. I hope you guys subscribe. Um, today we are going to be doing a daily spread, not a monthly spread because I don't really like monthly spreads. You just put in so much work and like sometimes you miss a day or you don't fill out your habit tracker for five days and then it's disappointing. It's not even motivating anymore. That's just me. Honestly, that's me, you know? <laughs> I like daily spreads. You can still make them cute. I put them on a piece of paper, not even in a journal. I hang it on my fridge and whenever I go into the kitchen, which is pretty often, I mean, I think everybody goes into their kitchen pretty often dur during the day, but I put it on the fridge so that I can see it more often and see what I need to do. And then that means I check more things off my to-do list. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Even if you're a monthly spread type of person, there are days in the month, which means you can still get something out of this video. And maybe you'll enjoy daily spreads more than monthly spreads now. I don't know. Or maybe you need some ideas for your monthly, your daily spreads. I always say monthly like instead of daily. It's because monthly is more common. Anyways, maybe you'll get some ideas for your daily spreads if you already like daily spreads. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and we can go ahead and jump into it. All right guys, to start off this daily spread, I am using this paper pad from Michaels. It was on sale and it just has a bunch of different cool papers. And I cut out one to I cut out this strip to put as a header. Um, you'll see that I'm cutting out lots of strips of paper gluing them. Who else remembers the purple glue from elementary school? Isn't that a little weird? Like, I just remember putting on so much because it would turn clear and I would want the purple to be there when I stuck it on, so I put on so much glue. Anyways, you'll see that I mess up so much in this video, so much. I guess it just shows that like, you know, I mess up too, so when you mess up doing these things, it's okay. I mess up too. Anyways, here I am sticking this thing on the millionth time, and I guess it's perfect now. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if it's really perfect. But anyways, that's just going to be where my header goes. And I also have these little stickers that I took out of a sticker planner book. I got this, well, I got three of these from Target and these were actually in their like dollar section. I think they were either $3, $3 or $5, not $1. I wish they were a dollar, but those are from Target. You can find them at Michael's. They have a lot at Michael's um, or Hobby Lobby, but yeah, I got those from Target. This sheet is also from that big paper book that I got from Michael's. All of the things that I glue in are from that book. Um, yeah, I think they were actually from the same page. I don't remember. Anyways, they're all from that book. And I'm gluing these on and I know that there's a little bit of weird spacing, but I did that on purpose because I'm going to put some stickers in between them that are going to be kind of like headers. Um, yeah, I, I planned this whole spread out before I actually filmed this and it still didn't go well. Um, whatever. It, it looks good in the end. I did it. It's okay. And all of these stickers are from those Target books that I have. That's a little hydration sticker that I get to mark off when I drink enough cups of water. And that thing... 
I believe it says there are little things to be happy about or something. I forgot what it said to be honest and I don't have the paper next to me, but something like that. There's little things in life to be happy about. And I like putting those motivational things on the side just to encourage me to check off my list. And here we are finally writing the header, but yeah, guys, I spelled August wrong and I was so mad when I did that because as you can see, I had to rip off the whole paper because I forgot the U. To be honest, I kind of suck at spelling August and I always forget how to spell it. Um, I just know it's A-U-G and then I always forget if it's A-U-G-U-S-T or A-U-G. I sometimes think it's E-S-T, whatever. I had to look it up and you'll see that when I rewrite the Monday, August 3rd, um, you'll see that I write the A-U-G and then I pause for a second and that's because I had to look it up again. I had already looked it up and then I messed up by putting A-G and then I put, I restarted, put the A-U-G and I still had to look it up. That's how much I don't know how to spell August. But yeah, that's probably like, I don't know, it's, it's an easy word to spell too, but you know, those words, you, everybody has them. That's the moment where I forgot how to spell, if it was an E or a U. <laughs> And I think this is going to be my last mistake of the video, people. When you are doing faux calligraphy, you are not supposed to darken the part that goes up. You're always supposed to darken the parts that go down. So you'll see that now I am darkening the parts that where your brush goes down. But I left the A. It doesn't look too bad, but that's the last mistake, I think, people. I think it is. I like to do my daily spreads. I like to separate them into two sections usually. Um, I separate them into priorities and then the things that I'll maybe do later. The priorities are the things that I always try to make sure that I get done in the day. Those are the non-negotiables. That's what I need to get done in the day. And then the maybes are things where when I finish my priorities, I can do those too if I'm not lazy anymore because once I finish the priorities I'm accomplished my day is great I did everything I need to do so the maybes are just if I have more time and if I want to do them and not be lazy but if I don't do the maybes I'm not as hard on myself as I am if I don't do the priorities on my list um, I'm just drop shadowing these cute little boxes because it made it even cuter Drop shadows are always the best, and you should usually always do them. <laughs> All right, and now to write down what I finally have to do in this day. I have to vacuum my house because yeah, there I just have so much hair everywhere, like my hair just sheds everywhere and I have to vacuum otherwise nasty, I know. I know why am I telling you this? But yeah, my hair sheds and it's all over the floor. <laughs> I also have a class to do at 11:30. And when I can't think of anything else for priorities, I usually go back and forth to the maybes. And that maybe was, oh, clean out my closet. I definitely have to do that soon. Film and edit a video. That's what I'm doing right now. So you already know I for sure did that. Paint my nails. I never paint my nails. And I always tell myself I will, but I never do. Clean makeup brushes because you know we all need to. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe got some ideas for your new daily spreads. <laughs> um, if you guys do daily spreads, comment down below, tell me, and give me some ideas too, because I always love 
doing different things to my daily spreads. Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram. I'll have everything linked below. And please don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Hi guys, again, I know I already said bye, but I decided to throw this in the end because I doubt very many people even stay till the end. Um, and I'm throwing this in because I don't like talking to a camera and I need to practice. So if you're here, I know that you did not mind my intro or my outro with how awkward I am. I don't know how people get used to talking to a camera. I personally don't believe they get used to it. I think they just get used to feeling weird in front of a camera or like being weird for talking to a camera. But anyways, this is just my practice. And if you guys are watching this, I'm still happy that you guys are seeing me be all awkward and everything because that's just what you gotta do if you wanna make YouTube videos and talk in front of a camera. If you guys are watching this part, please comment down below pineapple, that word pineapple, um, just so I know you guys are watching this. And a little fun fact about me, pineapples are my favorite fruit. Not even necessarily that my favorite fruit to eat or whatever, I just love the way they look and I do love to eat them, but anyways, I don't know, maybe I'll do this more often and you guys can get to know me a little bit more at the end. <laughs> If you guys stay, then you guys are the special ones who deserve to get to know me. But yeah, thanks for watching this little clip of me practicing. <laughs> Bye.